This screencast will introduce interactive programming as distinguished from the script program, programming we've been using so far this semester and give you a big hint for the forward loop piece of uh, the, the biplane assignment. So in this scene here, you can see there's nothing in my first method. Uh, this is, as you know, where we would put the method calls to create a program that's not interactive as far as the user of the program, the person running the program, is concerned. We introduce interactivity through an events mechanism. So here are some examples of some events. World starts, we already see that we run my first method here. Um, the user user types a key or or clicks on something. So let me introduce an event. The user clicks on the space key. I'll have this jumping chicken jump. I'll introduce a, another event. Let's say when the mouse is clicked Let's say I want to restrict that instead of the mouse being clicked on anything, I only want it to occur when this chicken is clicked on. So let's select that chicken, that's jumping chicken too. Drag it on top of anything. And then let's say that I want its jump method to be called. All right, let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. I hit the space key, jumping chicken jumps. Now if I click on jumping chicken 2, it jumps. If I click on anything else in the scene, nothing happens. So this indeed, um, jumping chicken 2 only jumps if it is clicked on. And if I hit the space bar again, jumping chicken jumps. So you can see that it we can introduce a lot of interactivity for the user um, via this events mechanism. Okay, here's my version of the biplane exercise and I want to demonstrate the forward loop so I'll go ahead and run the program. Hit enter to do the forward loop. That's fairly realistic, so the question is, how did I accomplish it? So if I select, let's see, the biplane, and show you the forward loop, what I do is I have a, a, a hidden object in the program, this blue light, which if I look at its properties, is showing is false. And I use this invisible object as the focal point for the biplane to um, do a turn forward around. So here's the trick. So forward loop moves the biplane, I'm sorry, moves the blue light to the biplane very, very quickly without the ordinary uh, one second delay. I'm doing a one one hundred second delay then sets the orientation of the blue light to be the same as the biplane so that they both agree on what direction is up, what direction is forward. Uh, that's important depending upon the orientation of the, of the biplane. Then I move the blue light up 20 meters and, and again notice I'm using a very very short duration and then I have the biplane turn backward during forward um, don't have a turn forward. It'll do the loop in reverse. So turn the biplane backward one revolution as seen by the light and I slowed that one down. Right, so you uh, might want to pause the video here so that you can refer back to the sequence so that you can implement it yourself. Otherwise that's the end of this demonstration.